Alright, what is it, guys? This is Corbin. Welcome to. Let's move the window a little bit on my screen. Faster than light. If you don't know what faster than light is, don't judge it yet, okay? It doesn't look like much on the surface. Don't even judge it within the first couple of minutes. Give it five minutes, alright? That's all That's all I'm asking for you. Man, we're recording at 900. We're recording at 1.2k FPS right now. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm gonna play a bit of faster than light. The game is to pilot a space shuttle with your crew and make it across an extensive, well, make it across a galaxy for some reason. And you're being pursued as you go, and you have to fight space pirates as you go. Crew members can die along the way. Kind of think this war of mine, but a lot more um, top-down strategy based. And funky. I know what it is about it. This game just feels retro as hell. It's a game that I want to play tonight. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one-off episode. We'll see how well we do. We'll see how much we enjoy it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Okay. So this is how the game starts. I believe that I only have two ships unlocked. Okay. Very, very brief explanation of the way that the game actually works, right? There's a lot of shit on screen right now. I'm sure it looks confusing. Okay. It's not really that confusing. Oh, we're just going to set the difficulty to normal. I was just on easy while I figured out the controls again and stuff, which I've already forgotten. As you can see here, this right here is the ship layout. We've got the engine room here at the back, we've got the little pilot station up at the front. We've got the little weapons bay here. This little S icon represents the shields bay. It's good to have shields on your ships, alright, when it comes to combat. Helps you from taking hull damage. Um, this is all going to become a lot more clear, I swear to god, as the game goes on. Little surveillance room. We got, I think that this thing controls the doors. Does it control the doors? I'm not quite sure what this little thing does. Maybe it controls blast doors or something. And this is of course the medical bay where we can heal up our crew members. Maybe they start taking up scene of our punishment. Having a dude, a little crew, you see this, some of these places have little crew members in? That's important because if you have little crew dudes in there, they make that part of the ship work better. If you have a guy in the little weapons bay, your weapons will fire at an increased rate. If you have a guy sitting in the, um, the little shields bay, your shields will recharge more quickly. All these things, again, gonna become more fucking obvious as, um, as time goes on. Okay, so I'm just gonna name some of our guys right now. What do we call this dude? Is this guy the pilot? This guy's the pilot, it only makes sense. Captain Cobb. Oh, oh, oh man, fuck it, we gotta put the captain in there, right? Captain Cobb right there. Layla. I think that's fairly obvious. That, that's gotta be Sophie. Liam. Who can this be? Fuck it. Pingu. Alright. <laughs> Those are our little crew members right now. We can customize them a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about customizing them massively, I guess. I guess that can just be me, that could be Pingu, and you know what, that's fine for Sof as well. Okay, that's our ship. Let's start, man. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. You can explore the sectors as you move through them, alright? Not reading anymore. Um, you can explore the sectors as you move through them, but you do have a time limit to get through them. You can't you can't dally around for too long. Um, but get to the uh, yeah, get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip hotkeys, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, so there we are in the ship. We got Sophie here in the little engine room. You also need a crew member in that part of the room to repair that part of the ship if you get in combat and that part gets damaged. It gets really scary if they like kill off the oxygen bay. And you need someone, you need to get that someone there as quickly as possible, you know? Um... To repair that shit before you guys die. We've got a little oxygen meter up here. It's currently 100%, so we're completely fine. Alright, down the bottom left, we have our little power bars. You can see how we can add or remove power. We can power down the engines completely. We can add more power to the engines. We can also take a bit of power from the engines. And power up our weapons. You see how weapons came online there at the bottom? Take the power out. Weapons don't do anything. One power in. That's our rocket launcher. More power in. We can activate our fucking best laser. Okay. So you're gonna make a lot of tactical decisions as it goes on, right? 
Certain fights, you're gonna have to be shooting down certain parts of the ship. Okay, there's a store over there, but we don't really need to go to the store yet. Hmm. We don't need to go to the store yet, because we don't have any currency. The currency is up here at the top. Little cogwheels. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby, it does not engage, and seems to be patrolling around a long-range sensor station. Let's just attack the damn ship. Alright, so I'm just gonna pause up here. Power up our damn weapons. Oh, it has a stealth field. So I can't see it until it, it, uh, until it attacks me. Shit. Okay, so normally I'd be able to, like, hit my weapon button here. And I'd be able to, like, choose which part of the ship I want to shoot. Okay. Hit the fucking thing. So I've got my rocket to take out the... The oxygen thing's been hit! Sophie, get on that! Repair it! Okay, so rocket is gonna hit the little stealth engine. And we killed the weapons. Okay. It's good. So I'm just gonna pause up right here and explain what the fuck just happened, okay? I can see that this ship doesn't have any crew because it's a because it's an automated ship, okay? So none of these things are gonna get repaired now. You see how we've damaged the weapons and we damaged the little stealth unit? So it can't shoot the weapons anymore and it can't enter stealth anymore. So this ship is basically fucked, right? It's basically dead. Therefore, I don't want to use my rocket launcher anymore because we only have seven rockets up here. You see how we only have seven rockets? That gun actually requires ammunition. So I'm just gonna use my laser to finish this dude off. And I guess we just hit the center, right? Let's do that. But we've got Sophie currently repairing the little oxygen bay, because our oxygen levels are slowly falling. Took it down. Man, get in there, Pingo, and help her out. Okay, we've got some scrap. That's a bit of currency there. We can, we can spend that shit up. Okay. Oxygen bay repaired. Oxygen levels stabilizing. Everyone get back to your stations. Sophie, you're in the wrong one. Okay, let me save those stations right there. Okay. So we're good again. Let's jump. Should I go to the store now? I mean, I suppose there's no point. Unvisited. Okay, I can choose where to jump next, see? But we are, we always have to finish up at the exit before we run out of time. And it's going to become obvious when we're running out of time. As time goes on. Asteroid field detected. Oh, no, man. Fuck the asteroid fields. That's too dangerous. Okay, I'm going to go up here. Asteroid fields aren't good news. Another unmanned ship. Oh. The ship starts to power up. It's faster than light drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, so we need to, t we need to hit the engines. Shit. Hit the fucking engines, man. One rocket should be enough to take out the engines. We missed! Lazy! Hit there! Yes, we totally did it. Jesus Christ. Pingo, man, get on that. Helps off repair these fucking... These damn shields, man. Woo! Okay, return to positions. Whoops. Okay, so we good. We good. Okay, we took out its weapons. We're all right. I'm love I'm just, like, piloting up at the top, by the way. I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just not helping. I'm just going like that. The ship breaks apart, you and, you, uh, and you feel relief in the knowledge that you'll hopefully be still one step ahead of the fleet. Yeah, because that's the thing that's pursuing us, alright? See, there it is. You see that? It's starting to encroach over the territory now. Okay, so I'm going to dilly-dally around a little bit. I kind of want to farm up this zone, because we're still quite far ahead of the fleet. These scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet long since abandoned. No sign, uh, no life signs detected. We can't do anything with that. That seemed like quite interesting knowledge to me. Um, you know what, let's actually go down here. Let's crisscross around the galaxy a little bit. The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears it is being chased by a pirate. Let's aid it, man. Oh, shit. Okay, it's a pretty well-equipped ship, man. Okay, so I'm just going to pause up right now. Plan out our moves again. I should try and hit the shields with the rocket, because the rocket goes through their shield barrier, but the base laser doesn't. So if you can take out the shields first, that's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna have Sophie ready. Oh, Sophie needs healing a little bit, actually. Let's put her in the medical bay. There we go. 
Back in, back on shields now, Sophie. Jesus Christ, Sophie! Repair it. Okay. Jesus Christ, man, they're fucking taking us out. We gotta laser down the rest of the weapons, though. Oh, sweet, we just did it. Okay, Pingu, go and help repair that. Contact the civilian ship. <gasps> the ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Gumpo. Welcome aboard, Gumpo. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay, he's a little mechanical guy. Okay, go and help repair, man. Oh, man, Gumpo's sick. How do I... Can I... Let me see the hotkeys. How do I, um, think I'm a doodle him? The crew manifests. How do I open that? Fuck it. G. We'll just set that. We'll just set that. So if I go like this, can I name him? Oh my god, sick. That's Aggie right there. That's Aggie. Alright, Aggie. Aggie should be in one of the safest locations if possible. He can go... Ah, uh, you know what? He can be the engine guy. Engine Aggie. Um, return to stations. Fuck, that's, that's not quite correct. Okay. Save stations. Alright, everyone is locked in. Everyone's ready to go. We got Gumpo ready. This is sick. Wait, what? What the hell is that? Current hull integrity. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot. That's like our overall health bar. If it drops to zero, the ship is destroyed. Oh shit. Okay. So you can't be too risky, and we might eventually have to visit the shop anyway, just to get repairs. You detect two ships, one chasing the other. Scanner showed the Psyra is a pirate. We're always gonna help them out, man. They have a teleporter unit, so they can TP onto my ship. Okay, so we should be ready to fight them. Fuck! See, if you look closely, you can see the doors opening and closing on their ship as well. And that's important too. So again, we gotta take out the shields and the weapons. Okay, yeah, laser on the weapons, missile on the shields. I'm gonna control myself, I will fight the intruders, man. There's the son of a bitch, man. He's taking out the oxygen bay. Pingo, get your ass in here. Oh no, only one can go in at a time, though. Okay, I will fight him, don't worry. Fuck, there's a fucking fire on this ship, dude. Okay, Pingu, there's no time. Come on! Yeah, we totally killed it! Um, alright. The pirate ship breaks apart, you're hissing to contact the civilian ship. There's still a guy on our ship right now. And it's on fire, for fuck's sake. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remains of the ship. Well, that sucks. For them, at least. Okay, so I can open these doors here, and actually put the fire out, because it's stabbed of oxygen in there now, you see that? Yeah, man, I'm a good pilot, look at that! We put the fire out by the power of physics. And then we lock it up. And this little area is slowly going to go from red back to normal. And that will signify that it's that it's fine again, you know? Sick. Alright, return to stations, boys. You see, I like this game. I like this game. It's simple, you know what I mean? It's a very, very simple premise. Keep your ship healthy. Kind of wave whether the risk of, um, you know, dilly-dallying around a little bit in a zone is worth it or not. Um, are you gonna take too much hull damage or you might just run into a ship that's just too strong and just fucking destroys you? It's cool, it's interesting. A small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are still talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. Heavy ion, eh? Okay. Oh yeah, ion damage. Okay. So I can upgrade the ship a little bit, right? How do I do that? Okay, this is it. So you see, you can also spend, like, the scrap, the components. Not just as a currency at shops. But you can use it to upgrade your ship a little bit. Okay, so right now, as it stands, I just don't have enough weapon power to be using the ion cannon as well. That's a bit of a problem, I think. Maybe I just buy more power? You know? How do I just invest more into weapons like that? Ah, damn! 
Okay, I tell you what, I'll buy one power bar for now so I can keep the weapons fully charged, because that increases our dodge chance during the fights. I think I'll be okay with that for now. Let's... Yeah, let's go up. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, fuck. Um... You were held by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't. But you get the point. They have no weapons. They have a fucking drone pew pewing me. Could be an issue. I think we just gotta take out the shields again, though. I mean, I don't really see what else we can do here. Take out the weapons as quick as we can. We're gonna take some more hull damage, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like this. Oh no, it did. Okay, so it's doing laser damage. Fuck, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire. Put it out, Sophie. Put out the fire. Yes. Okay, the enemy ship is trying to escape. Eh, that's what I thought. Oh, we just destroyed it. Okay, sick. Okay, Pingu, get in there and help put them down fires out. Spray, damn it. <laughs> okay. No, oh, actually, no, both go to the medical bay. Just heal up a little bit. Regen that health. There it is. Alright. And return to stations. Am I really just gonna go at the exit now? That's okay. There might be something else to do here, even. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Okay. Oh, really? Cool. So I have two heavy ions now. I can't even use them. My ion cannons, dude. Ion cannon ready. Only old school bosses men will get that shit. Will know what the fuck I'm talking about there. Okay. Let's jump to the next sector. Okay, so now we can choose to go to a pirate controlled sector or an NG controlled sector. I think pirates are easier to deal with. No, civilians are easier to deal with, right? And I can spend some of my stuff here. Yeah, let's go to a civilian controlled sector. Let's do that. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. So the Mantis are another race that we haven't encountered just yet. Let's just go straight to the store. There's a distress beacon there as well. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon. Something like equipment. Just that. Alright. Oh my god, man, they sell the cloaking thing. Oh, but I can't afford it yet. I can sell one of the ion cannons. Can I? How do I sell it? How do I actually sell? Oh, drag equipment to augmentation in this box to sell. I think that was good to sell that. Um, okay, what else do they sell? They do sell rockets. Might just stock up on some rockets right now. But you can also repair the ship to full. That seems good. I'll take all of your damn rockets. Okay, system repair. System repair drone will seek out damaged systems and repair them automatically. I don't have any drone parts though. Hmm. Okay, I guess that'll be just good. I'm gonna go up here first, then we'll go down to the distress signal. I think I should use the time in this little part of the galaxy to gather, you know. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners uh, may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Let's explore it. Sick. We found rockets and more parts. Alright, sweet. We might not have time to go to this fucking distress beacon now, actually. Oh, really? Once you arrive, your, uh, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to, uh, seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shoot down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. They move into attack. Son of a bitch. Oh, they have a teleport pad as well. 
fuck, man. I hate it when they teleport under the damn ship, dude. I just panic, you know? I just freeze up. Oh, they partially paralyzed the engines, actually. They literally did. Okay, it's gonna be up to me again to fight them. Where are they teleporting in? There they are, little fuckers. Sophie, help me! We beat the shit out of this guy. Our rockets take out their shields. Yes, weapons taken down. Alright, as long as we keep on shooting the shields now with our laser, we'll be- Oh, shit! Stop that fire! Kill! How the fuck did the fire spread through the damn blast door? Come on! Now fuck repairing the goddamn cockpit, just- Okay, they're gonna die in a sec. Both get repairing that shit. Pew pew pew! Got him. Okay. Pretend the station's boys. Well, actually don't. Both got to the goddamn Medi Bay again. Medical Bay. Alright. I think we're doing okay. What usually happens with this game is that you're doing just fine. And then suddenly you're just not. And you just meet a ship that just fucking kicks your ass, man. That's usually the way it goes. I'm gonna hazard going to this distress beacon. I think that we can make that. We can totally make that. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their uh, and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. So looking uh, for help to fix or disable it. Can we help? Simply fire on the defense system from a distance. Okay, so we could just use the NG crew one. Because we have two special options here. And these two look like better options to help these guys out. I think I'll use the NG crew. You can remember is able to remotely uh, fix the glitch in the defense AI. Sick. Alright, we got a nice little reward for that. That's good. Whew, they are getting close. Okay, let's fly all up and up and over there. What? Oh, you notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War. And they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. Nah, I'll just secure the cache. I'm not gonna leave rockets behind, I don't think. Ooh, we got a combat drone Mac 1. I don't actually have one of the drone equipment things upgraded yet. So we can't actually use that for anything, but, you know. Okay. Okay, I need to upgrade the ship. I need to figure out something. How long does this take to charge? Hmm. How do I check, like, the ship's, um, thing? Equipment. Okay, here we go. Charge time, 13 seconds. The rocket is 11 seconds, and that's 12 seconds. That's actually quite relevant. So we can disable the shields with our missile thing. Then we can use ion to shoot something down, like disable the systems. And then we can use the laser to destroy whatever part we want. That seems good to me. So I think I will actually upgrade that the ship like that. So we need two more points and weapons. Then we need two more power things. Yeah, now we can use heavy ion. Fucking sick. All right. Um. Again, we're in no supreme rush to outrun these guys. When completing our gym, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on our way. Ulu. Too bad you'll regret this decision. I'm sure I will. Okay, rockets there. I guess we... Pew pew there. And heavy eye on us, this keybind. Okay, sick. Alright. Sick. Let's light him up, man. A little bit grindy. Until you get to some of the, um... Tougher spots, you know? I'm only trying to fire, like, one rocket at a time, you know? Yeah, we need to shoot them shields again, before they get the shields up. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm not gonna accept surrender. I'm pretty sure you just always get more loot. If, um... You just fucking destroy the ship, you know? Kill it! Sick. There we go. Alright, let's go to the damn distress beacon over here. See what we've got to say for themselves. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Must be been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Okay, I can try to dislodge the ship. Destroy and loot the ship. Am I really just gonna, like, kill him? Hmm. I'm gonna try and dislodge the ship. Oh, come on! You take a few careful shots, but, uh, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. Oh my god. When you regain control, you find there's not much left of the ship. Well, fuck. So I should've just been an asshole? Fuck! You took hull damage as well, dude. Let's uh, let's let's repair our little shields, babe. We get back on our way. There we go. That's that, that's that's the ticket right then. Okay. Again, let's just venture around a little bit. A halberd beam. Small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation com channels are talking about your secret mission. Let us install a uh, weapon to help. Whoa, man! What do you mean? Look at that thing. 17 second charge time. Damage per room hit to... Alright. What do you mean per room hit? Whoa, man, I want to try it, dude. I want to try it. Hey, I tell you what, we'll save our cash for now. I'm gonna fly down here. We'll save our we'll save our money for now. I don't wanna like rush into upgrades on the ship here. Okay, you come across a Mantis Raider taking taking port shots at a defenseless energy supply station. All right. Let's go, man. These guys wanna go. What do I have the ion cannon take down? Let's have it mute the damn oxygen bit. No, we should mute the engines, right? This music though, man. It's so retro, man. I, I don't know. Something about this game just gets me, you know? Just tickles me. Alright. Ship is a damn sitting duck. We can take it out. We just need one more big pew pew. No, it actually got some shield back up. Okay, we destroyed the rest of the shield bit. We're keeping the engines muted so they can't run away, and it lowers their dodge chance as well in combat, so... We're doing good, we should have them down here. Bum bum bum. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Alright, sweet. Let's just go to the store. A message arrives. Your scrap. Your scrap, ours... Our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Okay, yeah, what the fuck? I was gonna say, man, I was gonna fucking kill that guy. <laughs> I can just buy a crew member? Humans are uncommon in interest, uh, and uninteresting. The Zoltan are allies of the NG. Their innate energy can power ship systems. Okay, and provides power to occupied system. That's really interesting. Okay. What does this thing do then? Self teleporting explosive that damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Uh, can target your own ship. It's an interesting note to make. Okay, breach missiles designed to cause maximum destruction to ship whole armor. It's also interesting, man. There's like multiple builds that you can actually go. If I was to sell this, okay, I might as well sell the drone piece. Halberd beam? Hmm. I'm not quite sure how to go about this. 
I think I'll buy another crew member. This requires missile. Charge time 22 seconds though. Holy shit, that is a long charge time. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna avoid going for anything too fancy in this one. I just want to make sure I can get to use the halberd beam and try that out before I go ahead and spend too much cash, you know? Um, store fix all actually. Okay, so now where's that other person at? There they are. Alright. Math. Um, how the fuck do I name them again? No, no, no. Don't dismiss, goddammit. I know it said it was a female, but now it's math, alright. So this guy provides power to wherever he stands. So if I put him in the weapon spear, yeah, we get a little we get a little boost of power there. It's actually really, really interesting. Okay. So if I power down the shields and put him in here, it gives us one power on the shield, so I only have to spend one in the shield. So it gives us like an extra piece of energy to use. That's pretty cool. Sorta of like that. And that means Sof can chill in like the medical bit, then he can power that. So Sof can help us like fight the intruders, you know, when they when they come about. All right, man. I think that's cool. Yeah, man. That's fucking sick. Okay. Let's jump to the fucking exit, which is imminently going to be under rebel control. You arrived at the long range beacon. Okay. Oh, really? You recognize the ship is a well-known slave trader. He heals you and offers you laborers for cheap. I can get another dude? Buy one slave and free them to join your crew. I want to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so we got we got Mara now. We got Mara now. Mari the en uh, Mara the NG. Maradine, actually, apparently, as it happens. What do I name this? I ran out of fucking. I ran out of names, man. For little crew members. I mean. Fuck! Why is it so hard? Conk has joined the crew. Conkrest? It is your job to man our little surveillance thing. Okay. And you know what? Let's jump to the next sector. Pirate controlled or Mantis homeworlds. I think I want to go to the pirate one because the Mantis guys like to invade your ship. And we don't have a very good fighting crew. We have a couple of NGs. They're not very good at fighting. I think we better off going to the pirate one and just beating them with our awesome ship technology. Alright. Gonna close this episode off here, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Gonna break it off. We've been we've been going for about half an hour now. Cheers for watching. Hope to all uh, hope to all see you in the next one. Now a journey across the galaxy with the noobs. Catch all you guys a tablet later. We did it! Get so many stars we've got, I don't I don't know how many we're gonna get from this. Fuck, he just fucking ripped me! Oh my god, protect the gate. Protect the gate.